All right, add the sake for flavor. Oh. I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this. Huh. Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. Wow, well, it's very romantic. <laughs> Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Okay. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs>
Want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. To your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. It's weird getting used to the idea. <laughs> And how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. It's small, but, you know, it's got a little garden, and it's pretty quiet. And did you, did you grow up here? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. You know, my parents and brothers took me over there. I was living in Dallas. Hmm. Oh. Did you get, get kicked out or something? Uh... Well, things were pretty chaotic at home. You know, my, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink. And uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, for the army. You know, for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. So I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, Asian beef, right? Yeah. Is... No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian beef. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up because this is probably the second time that I've cooked and. I would rather not talk about the first time. <laughs> mm. Good. Oh. Good. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what? Like two years? I mean almost nothing about you. I mean, there's nothing much to say. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus. And then Nathan looked after me. And, well, you pretty much know the rest, so. Yeah, your parents, do you, uh, do you still see them? No. No, I don't, I'm, I think they were just terrified about how different I was. brought me up more or less. They taught me how to cope with Aiden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but I'm making progress. You know, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. Here now, for a day Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you have do you have any family here? No. No, my, uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you, um... Are you married or anything? No, no. Uh, yes, I mean, I, I, 
I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. Well, you know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. I has got nothing to do with this. Jody, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not, um, it's not your fault. There's, there's just... There's some things that I can't forget. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Now, he relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start looking. Be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. But the last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. They found his head, one of his legs in a fishing pool. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> 